very good morning student myself anjuma basi today i am going to take your class on wound healing which is lecture 3 already we have discussed lecture 1 and lecture 2 subject is fundamental of nursing and subject code is 1003 so student here you are going to learn inflammatory phase in this you can see complement factor like c5a and lkt b4 cells promote pmn adhesion to endothelium pmns then migrate through the extracellular matrix functional activation after migration will be there then it will be activated neutrophils scavenge for necrotic debris foreign material and bacteria and then generate free oxygen radicals so migration stops when wound contamination has been controlled so usually first few days it happens so pmns don't survive more than 24 hours after 24 to 48 hours then so cell will become more prominent next you will be see inflammatory cells macrophages so most crucial in wound healing they appear at same time that pmns appear there and induce apoptosis of pmns so wound decontamination through phagocytosis and apcs injection and processing of antigen 40 lymph student in this slide you can learn how the process of hemostasis going on how that clog is coming on the injured surface of your area so here you can see there is a platelet activation and tissue macrophages function is there and there is active macrophage which is responsible for providing protection to injured tissue and here you can see there is a release of mmp which is matrix metalloproteinases and regulates ecm turnover this activity is camp mediated it can be blocked by nsaid so secret one cytokines and growth factors you can explore in this slide next is the lymphocytes t lymphocytes so it appears by fifth day and peaks by seventh day and b lymphocyte not much significant role in wound healing and seem to down regulate healing as the wound closes most of their effects on fibroblast by releasing stimulator cytokines like il2 inhibitor cytokines like tg f beta and tnf alpha and ifn delta so this is a mediator in chronic non healing wounds next you can see this phase is characterized by formation of granulation tissue and granulation tissue consists of capillary bed fibroblast macrophages loosely arranged collagen fibronectin and hyaluronic next you can see there is three main process in this phase that is angiogenesis fibroplasia and epitheliation next angiogenesis so formation of new blood vessels at the site of injury by proliferation of endothelial cells from margins of damaged blood vessel and angiogenesis is stimulated by the cytokines released by macrophages is tnf alpha so which f most potent which is released by keratinocytes macrophages and endothelial cells etc next capillary tube formation involves cell and cell matrix interaction cell interaction is modulated by psm which is l1 platelet endothelial adhesion molecule and cell matrix interaction modulated by beta1 integrin some of the capillaries differentiate into venules and arterioles and other degenerate so student in this slide you can see proliferative phase here you can see subcutaneous tissue is there then dermis epidermis collagen fibers and epithelial cells so here you can see how the epithelial cells are regenerating here next is the fibroplasia so fibroblasts do not appear at the wound site by diapedesis they are differentiated cells from resting mesenchymal cell and stimulation by macrophages pgdf activation of fibroblast from g0 phase which is replication and proliferation produced collagen and other components ecm student this was about the today's class so we have discussed wound healing process hope this will lecture will be clear to you is still any doubt you can ask me you can send query by me my email id is anjumbasi890 at the rate gmail.com so you can call me also my number is 8178612431 and further you can explore this link also thank you so much all thank you students happy learning